Sure, I had my own religion and a billion dollars, and yes, I was the king of Catalina Island. But all I ever really wanted was to get the band back together. It was just one small problem. Jack Kincaid, the Lennon to my McCartney, the Simon to my Garfunkel, the Millie to my Vanilli, went ahead and married my little sister. But that's when I assembled my team. Jackie Omar. Oh, so you finally have a plan? I'm working on it, but it's going to cost you. <laughs> Good. Now we just get Jack to Catalina. No way. The Yankees will move to Canada, Warren Buffett will bolt Omaha before Jack Kincaid leaves Los Angeles. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Breakfast. He never misses breakfast with his kids. He made a promise. Hey, 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 hey. Why does Esteban have a guitar? What? That's a guitar. Esteban plays the guitar. I don't think Esteban plays the guitar. You never know. What are you up to now? You're paranoid, you know that? You act like everything's some great conspiracy. What? It's no way to go through life. What? It's unhealthy. It eats away at your innards. But we're planning a conspiracy. This is a conspiracy. You make it sound so sinister. It is sinister if you're the guy getting conspired against. When we play our cards right, we keep a family together. Don't forget the part about keeping the family together. Oh, don't even tell me that's the guitar. <laughs> you don't expect me to eat that, do you? All right, I got an updated photo of Jack. Perfect bean to meat ratio. A man's body is his shrine. I could get run over by a golf cart tomorrow. Eat. 6'4", chesty. Has an affinity for Euro trash, suits, and bad ties. So you're giving fashion tips now. I never forget a face. No, no, to the girl. You did get a girl. Oh. I have a girl. And she won't need a picture. Catalina Jack will stick out like Nathan Lane in a rugby match. So he'll be checking into my hotel. If we get him to the island. When we get him to the island, I'll book every empty room in Catalina if I have to. Good. Controlling the extraneous variables is key. Here. Ah, 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 ah. That is a perfectly good chili dog. Food for the Philistines. That's what that is. This is an American tradition. That's what this is. Nice mm. job. Jack will totally believe this is his old guitar. Hole in the back, Marlboro burn marks on the neck. It's just like old blue. It is old blue. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Except, of course, that which truly is impossible. One thing's for sure, the wind is gonna blow and the rain is gonna fall every now and then. Best thing to do to weather the storm is ready yourself beforehand. So I'm not gonna worry, I'm not gonna worry, I'm not gonna worry. This view in particular is simply extraordinary. No argument from me. Clearly, it's a magical place. One of the premier settings on the island. Are you married, Maggie? Not currently, sir. Me neither. What? All those kids' room questions and perfect for mom. Oh, no, 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 no. This is for my sister and her kids. Kind of a uh, divorce gift. How sweet. I don't think it exactly fits a mold of a mark. More of a project, yes? I like project. Project is positive. Oh, uh, full house. I need another drink. I'm sorry to bust your chops, Murph, but what the hell were you, the heck were you, sorry, nuns, thinking? What? You were supposed to let her win. Don't blame me. It's not my problem the goody two-shoe nuns refused to cheat. That woman was the single worst poker player I have ever seen in my life. Too bad you can't accidentally view her most recent prayer request. Huh. 
My friend, if we score a couple of tickets to the USC Notre Dame game this weekend, I think we might just be able to pull this off. The court grants the petitioner's request for divorce and concurs with all requests made thereunder, including that the house in Malibu be sold and that all remaining equity be split 50-50. As to the custody of the children, this court remands physical custody to Mrs. Kincaid. Full, unrestricted, unsupervised visitation rights are granted to Mr. Kincaid. I therefore order that neither parent may, without the consent of the other and this court, reside outside the county of Los Angeles. What does that mean? This court is adjourned. So Malibu is up here, and San Pedro, ferries leave here, here, and here. 26 miles. Uh, one, one way. <laughs> What's that red line? The uh, red line. The red, this red line right here. What is that? Well, let's see. Uh, oh, that's the demarcation of international waters. <laughs> I thought you said that this was still L.A. County. It is. So you're telling me that I have to travel through international waters just to be able to see my kids, and yet somehow this is still in L.A. County? You kind of dropped the ball on that one, didn't you, Dennis? You could say that. I did say that. I just said that. Moving on. And my bathroom has a jacuzzi. Really? Five minutes, guys. And I can babysit. Because, I mean, it's an island. How far can your parents go anyway? Exactly. It's all parents. It's like an island of parents. I didn't see a single teenager the entire time. Come on, I'm sure there's going to be some kids there, Well, You haven't even been there, Dad. The place is lost in time. It's like the Beach Boys are going to ride up on surfboard. The Beach Boys never actually surfed, son. Well, why can't I just stay with you? Because as of tonight, I'm going to be staying in a hotel. Yeah, a hotel without a pool. That's so stupid, Dad. You were going to teach me how to drive. I'm still going to teach you how to drive. On what? A golf cart? Golf cart? No, I'm gonna use a Volvo. Mom sold the Volvo. Hey, Carrie! There are no cars on the island, Dad. Jeez. No cars. Guys, Jack, time's up. Come on, it's our last breakfast, Carrie. I'm sorry. We're on a schedule. We gotta go. Wrap it up. This is so unfair. Bye. Hi, baby. All right, that's enough, Walt. Let's go. I'll call you. Hey, at least let me drive you to the ferry. No, we're not taking the ferry. We're taking Murph's boat. Murph has a boat? And it floats? Los Angeles County never looks so good, kid. Yeah, who knew? That would be me. I knew, remember? Boom. I know what you might want, Mom. Hey, your brother gets a toothbrush, Emma. You know that. I gave it a push today. Boats. Why did it have to be boats? Looking for the rental car desk. I need to rent a car. Hertz, Avis, Alamo. I don't care. As long as it's got four wheels and rolls. <laughs> Mister, you can't rent a car. There are no cars to rent. You're kidding. All that talk about no cars on Catalina, that's true? Well, sure. Excuse me? Yeah, a bunch of people got together and decided to limit the number of cars on the island. Really? I'm just agreeing with you. Well, thanks. You think? Uh. And I guess I need to rent a golf cart. Where can I do that? You can rent one wherever you want. But if I were you, I'd rent one for Manny. Most places rent by the hour, but Manny, he rents by the day. Thanks. Hello, this is Manny. Yeah, I uh, just got off the boat. I need to rent a golf cart. Sure thing. Go straight, make a left on this pencil, a right on Beacon, and a left on Whitby. We're in the back. Hey, bud. Hey, how much? Don't worry, I'll give you a good price. I want to check around first. Why? I just said I'd give you a good price. Because I would like to get a feel for the going rate. How much? Sounds like a lot of work if you're just going to rent one for Manny. Hey. I believe the term is unsupervised, unrestricted visitation. So what exactly is this about? Why don't we start with the fact that you kidnapped our children? Kidnapped? Yeah. I moved here because the rat race is for grown-ups, not for teenagers. Teenagers don't need fancy sunglasses and their own SUV and, and, and credit cards to Fred Siegel. 
Teenagers need a childhood, Jack. My moving here had everything to do with those kids and nothing to do with you and your quest to close every unclosable deal in California. Your big shot lawyers can keep me in LA County, but lucky for Emma and Walt, I may have found the last small town in America. You found the most remote town in America. Come on, Carrie, this whole idea, it's nutty. This is not an idea, Jack. Then maybe I'll just show up for breakfast every day. Go back to LA. Go worship at the altar of the corporate takeover, downsize a few businesses, offshore a couple of thousand jobs while you're at it. Because you know, this Mr. Breakfast routine, this I own breakfast act, is a big cop out. Real dads are about a lot more than just breakfast. And next time, call first. Hello? Anybody here? Pam? I'm looking for Manny. You're Manny. Sure. Okay. How much? I don't know. You did all the market research. You tell me. You don't have a standard rate? Nah. Too many people. They couldn't pay the standard rate. They couldn't afford it. But you don't have a standard rate. Exactly. So how do they know if they can afford it? What do you mean? People know how much they can afford. All right. Take me, for example. How do I know if I can afford it? You called every car shop in town. You know exactly that you can afford it. Keep it overnight. When you bring it back, pay what you think. Keys in the car. Did you really live in Malibu? Yeah. And? Then what? And what was it like? It's Malibu. It's not like you moved here from China. Like clear day, you can see it from the science room. He doesn't know. The what? You moved here? He traveled back in time. Back in time. It's true. Welcome to the 70s. The 60s, even. You'd be better off in Idaho. Come on. You probably think you'll still do stuff with your old friends, right? Uh, yeah. Probably think they'll come to visit? Yeah. You need to learn. You live on the moon now. The dark side of the moon. Bartender. A beer. You should have a stock car early bird special. Beer, orange juice, and ice. Manny, aren't you working? You have a lot to learn about island life. That's good. Is that a Loudon? Don't know. That is a sweet guitar. You play sweet guitar, Mr. Kincaid? Jack. Yeah, I used to I used to play sweet guitar a long time ago. Go ahead, Mr. Jack. Play it. No, you cannot just walk up and pick up another man's axe. Like I said, you have a lot to learn about island life. I'm going to a party tomorrow night. Have fun. Probably be your last one. Whatever. They'll announce the warning at the next meeting of the Malibu PTA. To all concerned parents, let it be known that Walt... What's your last name? Kincaid. Walt Kincaid requires special handling. A driver, an escort, and a travel agent will be needed just to get home after sleepovers. <laughs> it can't be that bad. It's not like you can just jump on a ferry and cruise over to Malibu for a party and be home by curfew. Your life is over. Welcome to Idaho. Except, my uncle has a boat that he never uses, so I can just go back and forth whenever I want. I thought that was you. What the hell are you still doing here? I'm just, I'm just. Playing sweet guitars and uh, drinking stock cars with my new best friend, Manny. Hmm. What are you doing, Jack? You young lady have an awful lot to learn about island life. Did you know that there, there is a- Jack! Rat, 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 Stop rat, pretending rat. to be the guy that I married when we both know that you're the guy that I divorced. Go back to work. 
Go back to being Jack Kincaid. I thought you were Jack Kincaid, Mr. Jack. Niños, niños, cuidado. Ah, maya, maya, maya. Oh. <laughs> Un beso. Mi amor. He reminds me of someone, Dad. Ah, mija, por favor. Not this again. A young Robert Redford, maybe? There he is. Can we help you with your bags, senor? No, no bags. Missed the last ferry, didn't you? Jennifer, please. No, that's all right. No, I did not miss the last ferry. I just, uh, uh, I, I just didn't have any idea that I was coming to Catalina, actually, when I, when I got up this morning. I'm sure that happens all the time. Nope, not so much. Silencio. I'm, uh, I'm sort of on assignment. You're CIA, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not CIA. Six days at the Condor? It's three. Excuse me. He's wearing CIA shoes. <sighs> Jennifer, stop. Callate. You don't even know this gentleman. Forgive my daughter. She, uh, <laughs> she has an overactive imagination. No, I don't. And by the way, it's six. What? The movie's three, but the book is six days. But still at the condor, right? Senor, I'm sorry. I am a stepmom. And this is my daughter, Jennifer. How do you do? So, Jennifer, I take it you've read this book? That's how I know you're CIA. But I'm not CIA. I'm in mergers and acquisitions. Ah, oh, perfect cover. Your mother doesn't even know what that is. Oh, and mother hasn't a clue. NSA, maybe? Maybe I'm IRS. Amigo. The first rule of island life. Never joke about the IRS. People live on islands for a reason. It's just that, uh, and don't take this the wrong way. He seems like a bit of a lost cause. <laughs> Believe it or not, Jack Kincaid was the coolest guy I'd ever met. <laughs> I peak Believe It Not. Cooler than Elvis. A skinny Elvis or cooler than skinny Elvis? This is very hard for me to ingest. There's an imposter American dream out there. And it's got him pinched in a vice so tight he thinks money will solve his problems and hard work will make him rich. Molested by the straight and narrow, my friend. And it's a shame because Jack Kincaid was the only guy I'd ever met who had the right stuff. And me, Murph? I don't have the correct stuff? Very, very close. Esteban, very. Fab Elvis, maybe. <laughs> I, sh I should go. What? Why? It's very important that you leave a party just before the crash. Knowing when to get out is a highly underrated skill. Yeah, well, leaving is not a skill. I beg to differ. Leaving is a skill, especially when you have not been alone with a beautiful woman at closing time in 18 years. Mr. Murph. Uh, Manny, I need the room key for bungalow two. Bastard keys in my shoe. Brought you a gift, Jack. Looks like Old Blue. That can't be Old Blue. I hopped Old Blue to get Carrie's engagement ring. Yes, Mr. Jack. How do you do that? I smell white people.
for the golf cart. You didn't count it. You have a lot to learn about island life, my friend. But Mr. Jack, this is too generous. Very wise man once taught me. People know exactly how much they can afford. Technically speaking, it is breakfast. Goodbye. I'll come over on the weekends. We'll take trips. It won't be bad. And if on my weekends with you, I have an omelet for lunch and a quiche for dinner, that's practically a week's worth of breakfast is right there. This sucks. It'll work out. Things work out. You should have provisions. You know, there was a time it was you and me against the world. And one of us grew up. Oh, so that's what you've been up to all these years, huh? Being a grown-up? We're not in college anymore, Murph. Life is not about grandiose ideas, my friend. Life. By all means, Jack, explain life. Life is the Tour de France. The Tour de France. Yeah. Most of life is simply putting your head down and make it through the end of the day. The part where the French girl kisses you on the balcony doesn't happen to most guys, and those that it does happen to, it only lasts for a couple of minutes, because the next morning, the bike is waiting. Life is putting your head down. The poster sales are going to be huge. Life is about doing the work. I am in complete disagreement. Shock. Which is why I'm getting the band back together. Oh. Now, hold on, hold on. I found Dirk working in a Chinese restaurant in Antwerp. He's agreed to move here. As long as I buy him a new drum kit and find him a girlfriend, he's a total freak. I read, I read it. it. <laughs> of course, uh, Stuart's dead, so that would require a little bit of a workaround. Never sweat the bass player, Merv. Bass players are a dime a dozen. In fact, no, 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 I'm not doing this. I have responsibilities. All right. The Tour de France. I could offer you free room and board on a decent enough boat. No. Carrie was right. It's time to be Jack Kincaid. The only question is, which Jack Kincaid? The one I know, who lives in here, or the one who's trapped in here? I'll come back, right? Of course I'll come back, Pumpkin. Since when do you call me Pumpkin? Excuse me! I was wondering if either one of you could recommend a nice restaurant on the island for lunch. What? <laughs> it is the second most important meal of the day. That is so gay. I need a little rise. I need a little shine. Where are you guys? Walt, Emma, you're up. I need a little rise. I need a little shine. I'm in no mood. Not until I've had my caffeine, so don't even start. You sound just like Mom. I'm in no mood. I'm in no mood for your shenanigans, <laughs> mister. Shut up. What are you even doing here? 6.30 in the morning. I need a little rise. I need a little shine, Mom. Oh, my love. Oh, I was just about to ask your Uncle Murr Pierre, he from the legendary ne'er-do-well sleep until noon side of the family, why he's awake at 6.30 in the morning. We went to the dock to see Dad. He's gonna stay in little Uncle Murr's boat. Em, 
That was supposed to be a secret. What do you want me to do, lie? No, of course not. It's okay, sweetie. We did the right thing. Like Jack Kincaid would live on a boat. It's a cool boat. He isn't your college roommate anymore, Sean. He owns a Gucci credit card, for crying out loud. He spends more time getting ready in the morning than I do. Live on a boat. You think you're so smart. His days of sleeping on your floor and owning one pair of jeans are over. He no longer writes songs for girls hoping to get a free beer. Maybe. <laughs> you're such an idiot. <laughs> okay, kids, it is official. Your Uncle Murph is an idiot. Billionaire idiot. Don't forget the uh, billionaire part. Did you say buh, billionaire? Technically, it's like 914 million, but I haven't seen the Hang Seng yet this morning. So. You are a billionaire? And you made me go 50-50s with you on this house? It's an accountability issue, Gary. You have to be accountability? accountability? You're the most irresponsible person on this planet. You wouldn't have graduated high school without me. Thank you for that, by the way. Sorry. Mm. Say uncle, Uncle Murr. Uncle. Jack, pick up. Mr. Sartanowski. Excuse me. Sir. Mr. Sartanowski? Mr. Sir, excuse me. Mr. Sartanowski, I just need a moment of your time. Leland! Reynolds, is that my wife? No, sir. Mr. Sartanowski, please, I just... You are not his wife. No, I'm Aaron Mitchell, assistant to Trubridge Pierce. <sighs> Miss He's Mi Jack Kincaid's assistant. As I say, Miss Mitchell... He quit. Trubridge? Jack Kincaid. Are you sure? He texted me. I've been trying to reach him all morning, but he won't answer. Reynolds, is there a problem? Yes, sir. Uh, it seems that uh, Mr. Jack Kincaid has quit, sir. Jack Kincaid is not a partner, Reynolds. Or... With all due respect, sir, Jack Kincaid was commissioned on 80% of Triton's investments. Ms. Last Mitchell, year. I am sure you're charmed by your boss so that you believe your work directly impacts the bottom line of this company, but in the end, your Mr. Kincaid is a minor player, so might I suggest you return to your cubicle or pod or cave, take a deep breath, and call HR. Oh. Biotech SRD, Papua New Guinea, and Cherson Lehman all closed this week, and they are all teetering. Please. Reynolds! Oh, excuse me. Get Kincaid on the blower. Yes, sir. with you. Where? The party. Your, your friend's in Malibu. I've always wanted to go to a Malibu party. Uh, Sally, I'm not going. My dad, he's having like a midlife crisis. He thinks he's Jack Johnson. Anyway, he's staying for the weekend, so I'm stranded. So close, so... <sighs> you know what? Don't move, I'm coming down. Single vente, seven pump peppermint, caramel sauce, top and bottom, no whip mocha. Hey, babe. Don't call me babe, we're divorced. So how do you like the new house? What are you doing here? That much, huh? Do me a favor. Stop teasing the kids with this dad's move to the island nonsense. It's really unfair. Hey, I'm exploring my options, Carrie. I have made any promises anyway. The whole thing makes you look ridiculous. Oh, yeah? Oh, well, we're getting the band back together, so there! Perfect. Diego, go. One thing's for 
for sure The wind is gonna blow and the rain is gonna fall Every now and then Best thing to do to weather the storm Is ready yourself beforehand So I'm not gonna worry I'm not gonna worry I'm not gonna worry No, I'm not gonna worry Cause the rain First, practice. Practice? But you hated practice. You, Jack. You have to practice. I've been practicing for 18 years. Come get yourself some clothes. You look like an idiot. <laughs> Gotta be over a thousand dollars here. I'm not gonna believe how much this island stuff costs. Hey! I do not look like an idiot! Ex Mrs. Jack, you all right? No. Oh, the chair. Pepe had to choose between dropping it on Alice's head or tossing it on the concrete. It's not just a chair. It's the cornerstone. Alice's head is a cornerstone head. So it was, I think, a tough decision for Pepe. I'm kind of on hold here without this chair. Mrs. K, you have 117 unopened boxes. Jackie Kennedy sat in a chair like this in Hyannis Fort. This chair says, whoever sits on me has her life together. I am deeply sorry for your loss. Ah. I should do the talking. People know me. When's the last time you booked a gig, huh? 20 years ago? I know Manny. He'll do me a favor. Murph, we don't need favors. We're the renegades. No one knows who the renegades are. Hey, Mr. Murph. Hey, Manny. How you doing, buddy? Manny, hey, my name's Dirk. Our guitarist was in here the other day and laid down a few wicked licks. Oh, yeah, Mr. Jack. He plays sweet guitars. Yeah, well, Mr. Jack's band is getting back together again, and we need your stage to rehearse. Try out our new stuff, you know, in the afternoons when nobody's here, so we can knock the rust off. Of course, no problem. Maybe you could do a gig here. <laughs> Not so fast, me amigo. When we're ready, when we're ready. Just so you know, the Renegades, we never charge a cover. Because poor folks, they need music more than anyone. Not even a tip jar. People come, you pay us what you think we're worth, everybody walks away happy. We live next door to each other. We work in the same hotel. But I haven't seen you in the last 24 hours. Why would I hide? What time did you get in the other night? Dad, I'm not in high school. I know what goes on in my own hotel. Nothing went on. Nothing. 2 a.m. is not nothing time. 2 a.m. is something time. What are you time. trying to say, exactly? You're supposed to find out information to help Murph get his band back together. Nothing more, nothing less. No one said anything nothing about... Nothing happened! You're not supposed to be some girl James Bond. Girl James Bond. Mm. I kind of like the sound of that. Don't you already have a boyfriend? Poppy, please. I mean... This man just got a divorce. He's not looking for a girlfriend. Mia, yeah. so naive. Divorce does not happen over the night. Huh? By the time a man's divorce is final, he's ready for a girlfriend. Happy dog. Are you going to live on this boat? Maybe. That make you a bum? 
No, do not make me a bum. I'd make somebody a bum. This is a nice boat, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's a nice enough boat. Is Uncle Murph rich? Uncle Murph has connections. She, she colors everything. No gray skies. And I know forever she will always be my beautiful girl. It's a hit. Hey. I remember you. Uh, this is Emma. This is Jennifer. Jennifer. Emma, my daughter. From his first marriage. My only marriage. Are you the other woman? Emma. It's an archetype, Dad. Well, oh, Emma. I am not an archetype. That's good. I don't think my dad is ready for an archetype. <laughs> my intelligent girl. <laughs> Testing, one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, if this were an actual emergency, you would be instructed we are indeed the who. My boat, this is not exactly what I was thinking. Don't go Boise on me now. Essentially a family matter. You know, how would you feel about me handling this in-house? Well, I got the chief. Well, I'll talk to Stan first thing in the morning, I promise. Well, then there's the matter of the costs involved emergency crews, vehicles, property damage. Yeah, so there you have it then. You add it up, send me the bill, and I'll talk to the chief first thing in the morning. Perfect. Thanks, Terry. You guys will be swabbing my deck until you're in college. Now. After school, my boat, it'll be a brilliant second date. No. Welcome to Avalon, Crash. Wow, Walt, did you do that? <laughs> Shut up, Emma. <laughs>
Where's your chick? Where should I know? Wait, you didn't call her? Uh, no. To be honest, it's all very confusing. You know, the whole thing about almost killing her and stuff? It's just, it's not straight in my head. Girls will never be straight in your head, buddy. You just gotta jump in, preferably with both feet. Sorry I'm late. I'm a surfer, Sally. You're right on time. Cool. Make it fun. No instructions? Top to bottom, every spot should shine. Wait, Uncle Murph, this is a huge boat. Jail, Walt. The alternative is jail. I'm not going to jail. You OK? Miss Clish. Everything all right? I've been reading about what happens to kids from broken homes. Emma, broken may not be the best word to you. I'm doomed. Emma. Lots and lots and lots and lots of very happy, well-adjusted adults had divorced parents. This is a Harvard study. Manny? You seemed a little bummed about your chair, so. It's beautiful. Swing's real nice, too. What's this? It's yucca. My own recipe. Requires days of shaking. Otherwise, it's too bitter. You shook that for days? Not just me. Friends, family, maybe someone that wants to welcome you to the island but is a little shy. How nice. I like this chair. Swing long enough and it solves your problems. Spoken like a man who doesn't have teenagers. Hi, Miss Kincaid. Hi, Manny. Is Walt home? He's inside, sweetie. Thanks. How'd you find this spot? It's cool. I didn't find it. It's just here. There's no people. Yeah, no one ever comes to this side of the island. It's awesome. I figured if you found a spot to surf, you might be less likely to sail on Catalina. Uh, sail to where? Some place with waves. Some place where your dad thinks he can move and then steal you. It's quite the conspiracy theory. It's a follow the waves theory. Well, as a theory, it has a few holes. I don't know. The call of the wave is powerful. Yeah, but my dad's not gonna kidnap me. Don't be so sure. I'm pretty sure. One and up. That's the great thing about Catalina. There's always time for one and out. Hey, buddy, what's up? How far would you go to keep me? Pretty far. Why? Uh, son, this is crazy. Let's get some air. OK, son, what are we dealing with here? Something's up, right? I don't want to be one of those kids. One of what kids? A tug of war kid. Explain. Well, your parents fight over you. And Thanksgiving here, Arbor Day there, two Christmases. I, I don't want two Christmases, Dad. I can do that. Walt Kincaid will have one Christmas. Forever. Well, your college girlfriend might have something to say about that, but. Uh... Until then, I think you're pretty safe. Emma, too. Emma, too. We should have talks like this more often. 
You keep thinking that. Okay. okay. It's you. I'm sorry. It's the right house. Wait here. Jack, it's four in the morning. Yeah, I, I, I was I was hoping you'd still be awake. Oh, okay. Because I made a pretty big decision tonight. Okay. Ten minutes ago, I decided I'm going to stay on Catalina, and you were the first person I wanted to tell. Really? You put your brain on overtime, you pray, you meditate, you, you chant, you do whatever you need to do. But then you look down and you see your daughter. You tuck her into bed and then... You know what, Kincaid? What? Good for you. Yeah? Yeah, I'm proud of you. Going on a road trip. I have school. I know you have school. Some things are more important than school. Hop in. A road trip in a golf cart? Woohoo! Somebody call him Hunter S. Thompson. Yeah, Hunter S. Thompson is dead, son. Let that be a lesson to you. A lesson? He was like 100 when he died. He was 70 when he died. Exactly. <laughs> Where are we going? To sever ties with the mainland. I like it. You ought to. It was your idea. Manny said there was a problem. Walt is missing. Manny saw a man and a boy fitting the description of Jack and Walt getting on a helicopter. They didn't fit the description. They were the description. It's my helicopter, Carrie. They had business in LA. No one was kidnapped. I knew Dad wouldn't kidnap Walt without kidnapping me. This is a violation. He can't just yank Walt out of school. Yes, he can. He's his dad. He should have consulted me. He would have said no. I had a perfect attendance in high school. All four years. Which is... Freaksville. What kind of business did he have? I didn't ask. What kind of business requires Walt? I didn't ask. Uh, you've been here before. No, I uh, haven't. What do they do here, Dad? Nobody knows. Going. Hello, Layla. Julie! Uh, Mr. Kincaid! That? Jack. Jack! Yeah. It's my new band. You ever on Catalina? Come check us out. Were you just uh, hitting on her? Nope. I have a girlfriend. Wait, you, do you do? Maybe. You'll never believe who's coming your way. Jack! Go! Hello, Aaron. Jack, we've got to... Walt. Walt! Aaron, it's so nice to finally meet you. Come in. I am so glad you're here. Sartanovsky is trying to close Nakamura, and we are totally not in a good place. We are about to lose out on the fourth straight deal on the row, so you need to screw the sabbatical crap, Jack, and just get on in there. I just came to get Carlos. But you can't do this, Jack. Come on, it's Nakamura. You spent half a lifetime on... I only came to get Carlos. I'm resigning, Aaron. Well. Sweetie, I think you should tell Mrs. Kincaid about yesterday. What happened yesterday? It's stupid. It doesn't have anything to do. Uh, tell her. We skipped last period to go surfing. What? It's stupid. He only missed Jim. To go surfing. Think about it. That's not the point. It is the point. They were going to play dodgeball. Skipping is never OK. 
Every kid skips some time or another. I didn't. Skipping school is part of growing up. It's natural. You're a teacher. <sighs> okay. We have to stop the hemorrhaging. Don't put the boxers in front of Carlos Santana. What is this about, Jack? Is it about the money? I can talk to Archie about upping your percentage. Put him on the desk. A driver. Archie's out of the country about 98% of the time. I could arrange for you to use his driver. I can do that. I can do so many things for you, Jack. Please. On the floor. What about Walt? Does he need anything? You are becoming unglued. I am unglued, Jack. If we don't close this deal, we're going to lose our AAA rating. Walt, hold Carlos. Don't drop him. The stumbling block, what is it? You'll do it. Maybe. It's simple. They can't agree on a number, so you just have to make it about something other than the number. 27 counters, Jack. 27. It's Nakamori Gulka, right? Yeah. I'm going in. Oh, OK. Blue stripe or polka dot? Neither. Really, gentlemen, it's a matter of a quarter of a point. Gentlemen, Jack Cleveland. Jack. Here, let me sit down just for a second. Don't mind me, though. I'm just here to listen. Well, uh, we were discussing the possibility of restructuring. You know, I have been to Cleveland. Got a brother-in-law there. What? Lives uh, in Shaker Heights, poor Jack, bastard. Jack, maybe you should... Uh, Why, what? Gulka is hovering. You guys screw the pooch on this one, and then they execute a hostile takeover of Nakamori so fast, your next member will be standing on a train platform in the snow, waiting on the 815 into the city. The city of Cleveland. Headquarters for Gulka International. May I have the coin, please? Two gentlemen, either you can stop dicking around about a quarter of a point on some precious spreadsheet somewhere, or you can get used to the fact that your kids are now rooting for the Indians. We'll call it. Heads. Whichever way it turns out, gentlemen, it's fine with me. I don't care. I quit. Archibald League. I run the joint. You're Jack Kincaid's kid? Yes, sir. Go to college, kid. Major in business. After you graduate, you look me up. We'll get you an MBA the fun way. Yes, sir. You know, actually, I was thinking of um, majoring in anthropology. Oh, kid? That's no way to go through life. Yes, sir. This one, it's for your dad. Tell him I said, nice speech. And I hate speeches. You know, he quit. Oh, I um, hate to be the one to break it to you, but that speech, it's not about quitting. That was an audition. I doubt it. Why is that, kid? Because well, this, there's no way to go through life. Be Lindsay. Where's Jack? He should be traveling down the PCH on time for a date with the Whirly Bird. What do you say? I say let's do it. I wrote this just for you. Who? I'm, I'm just saying that. I don't get it. Like it's a concert, you know. What I'm saying that during a concert, you know. Oh, so what you're saying is you really didn't write it for me? Why would I write you a song? Well, you don't have to be mean about it. I wrote this just for you. Five o'clock stop, watch won't stop racing through my mind. It's time to leave. Now that was cool. Yeah. There's one more stop. I don't want to waste another You'll come back, Jack. And when you do, you're gonna beg. Free sandy beaches all around. I wanna 
fly like an angel with my wheels on the ground. Lord, lift me up and lay me down in my new hometown. When you're pulling out into traffic, first you look right. Right. Then you look left. Could have gone there, Walt. It's okay, now. I get it. It's like waves. Another one comes along. Nice. <laughs> Man. Coffee cup, fill her up. Gotta get back on the road. One day I'll say I should have never left your side. You'll never believe what we just did. If you ever do that again, I will kill you. I had no idea where he was. Got my license. Oh, cool. We? Yeah. No, don't make me the bad guy. Walt! Hey! Come here. Looks like you're gonna be grounded for a week. No driving for two. What? Mom, this isn't Doug, very... it's not negotiable. Your mother and I are on the same page about this. You got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, I want you to walk Sally to her house and then get your butt home. Who's gonna ground you? That's the question. I'm self-policing. Just call next time. You got something against a phone? some lights for me? No. I think she'd love that. I can ask her. Because I volunteered to decorate the boat at the high school dance. The over the sea dance? Tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd love to help. I went to that dance every year in high school. But there is no way she'll have them done by oh. tomorrow. Yeah, they're made by hand, and she takes such great care. Right. Of course, that makes sense. But, yeah, you can have these. Oh, oh no. I, I couldn't take your lights. No, no, really. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm decorating for my father's birthday. You won't even notice. You know what? I'm not even sure that one strand would be long enough. Oh, I've got more. I've got more. Girls, can you bring me the rest of the light? You are so kind. You don't even know me. It's really no trouble. Thank you, Sophie. Emma. Hey, Mom. Next up, Miss Emma Kincaid. This is Emma's first skate competition on Catalina, so let's give her a big Avalon welcome. Glad to know I'm not the only one you forgot about today. What are you talking about? Coffee, 8 o'clock ring. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm, I was had, you know, I had this kind of... That's an interesting way to apologize. Well, I apologize if my apology is not apologetic enough. Snippy. Yeah, Jennifer. Yeah. You'll stay? Si, Juan. 
You're a natural, honey. I only fell off seven times. <laughs> Your first little best. Is everybody in this town related to you? Just the cool people. Hey, where are you going? Emma skates again. There's another round. Well, simple. I'll buy you coffee after that. Hmm. I'm not getting off that easy. <laughs> I'm bad. But don't worry, fine. folks, he's just fine. Don't forget, folks, the Catalina chapter of the Independent Order of the Odd Fellows is selling hot dogs, cotton candy, and calamari at a booth near you. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna go get a hot dog. Me too, Mr. Walton. No, 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 no. No, you should you should stay. Um, you know, I'll get you one. Everything? And a cup of relish on the side. Cause you have to have relish in every bite. Otherwise, you're missing out on the essence of an American tradition. Yeah, okay. Since... I got it. I got it. Next up, Max Corrigan. Uh, whenever you're ready, bud. Your sister's pretty good. Which is weird, because she's basically a spaz. I hear your mom's in charge of decorating so what are the, the odds? Huh? What's your deal? Deal? I, I don't have a deal. You definitely have a deal. There's no deal. Before you leave today, remember to spend you know, a dollar uh, and spin the big wheel and I just, um... I, I wanted to ask you something, and... So? Ask. Okay. Um... You know, I was just wondering if, if maybe... You know, if you, if you didn't have anything else to do that you would rather... Next on the ramp, last year's or... winner, Catalina's very well, own Hunter Carlson. Wait a minute, Hunter's here? Is he? Oh. I need this one. You were gonna ask me something. I was. Yeah. So ask. Are you here to see Hunter? That's what your big Wait, are question? Are you? Yes, I am. Big deal. Ask your question. Forget it. Just go support your boyfriend. You know what? Stop it. Th this stupid jealous routine, really? What do you want? Just nothing. Just never mind, okay? I came to see him fall on his ass. Oh, Hunter goes down. And I missed it. Thanks. This is devastating. You owe me, Kincaid. While we have a break in the action, here's a tip from the mayor's office. Don't forget to tip your waiters and waitresses. It's just a little party. No, no, no. The thought of going to a party at your parents' house. Is it? You already know my dad, and he likes you. Oh, really? Since when? Since I told him you were going to his birthday party. <laughs> and then I wobbled, and I thought I was going to bite it, but I didn't. Well, you never would have known. You kept your cool, kiddo. I'd be a 13-year-old boy. Really? And that's Claire Miller finishing a nice run. Hey, Mom. Walt. What happened? Next up, Louis Griffin. What? Let's hear it for Louis. Hey. You want a medal? Ah. Nice job, sport. Sport? Should I call 911? I think we just need some ice. Hold this. Excuse me. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Ricardo is making fireworks. Homemade fireworks? Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell me that in the first place? I'm there. Great, great. <laughs> Listen, be on time, okay? Because in my family, if you're late, you're bound to miss out on something. All right. <laughs> oh, yuck. Yuck? Yes, yuck. Ketchup. Who puts ketchup on a hot dog? I do. You got a problem with that? No, not so much. Jack? Hey, Walt. Howdy, Pops. How's it going? <laughs> what happened? Well, from what I have gathered, he was trying to add to Sally to the dance. Uh, wait, hey, a girl did that to you. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna take Walt home. Can you watch Emma? She'd like to stay. I'd love to. Thanks. Nice seeing you again. Nice seeing you again. Wait, wait a minute. You know my wife? Ex-wife. You know Carrie? It's a small island, Dad. We met, and she seems very sweet. Did you see me, Dad? Yes, I did. And you own the Aurora Borealis. Very honored. I think I might turn pro. Mom, Mom, seriously, promise me you won't be there. I have to organize the event. I'm a volunteer. I'll just be there for a little while. Maybe you can just be there to set up and then get off the boat before we leave. You may be there. What? It's not you can be there, it's you may be there. Can means it's physically possible. May is giving permission. It's a pet peeve of mine. Well, my pet peeve is moms who hang out with their kids. Walt, I've organized dozens of school events. What's this really about? It's just different. I'll say. Shut up. Walt has a girlfriend. Sally is not my girlfriend. 
The man is always the last to know. Enough. Leave your brother alone. Walt, I get it. This is the first time he's ever asked a girl to a dance. Mom, I think he's going to explode or something. Walt, are you okay, honey? I, I... Lisa to tell her she owes me 10 bucks. I knew you'd come through. What happened to your head? Huh? Oh, that's a skateboarding accident. Nice. Uh, I'll pick you up at seven, right? Okay. Sally, say yes. Cry, vet. Yes, Sally said yes. Good. Did you know Sally's mom doesn't give us grades and makes us do morning yoga? My biggest fear is that Sally is actually a closet hippie. Don't be dumb. I'm nothing like our mom. Oh, no, not at all. But I did read that 79% of boys end up marrying someone just like their mother. I'm not planning to marry Sally. Good because only 1% of first relationships ever end in marriage. Did you know that 42% of all statistics are made up on the spot? I do thorough research. Oh yeah, well, the next time you're doing your research, why don't you look up the word private? Want to know the top 10 reasons why first dates usually fail? No. Number one, lack of intelligence. Not funny. Number two, no sense of humor. Get out. Number three, Get kindness. What? You look very handsome. I look cool, Mom, not handsome. Is that one of your dad's old t-shirts? Oh, yeah. I accidentally packed a box of his old college stuff. And check this out. Found his old license. Who knew I looked so much like Dad? Give me that. <laughs> Mom, chill. It was a joke. I thought you were all excited about your baby boy's first date. Come on, we'll be late. Oh, uh, no, Sally's picking me up. Really? What? I don't know. That's very enlightened of you. <laughs> No, it's not. It's all about me not picking her up on my bike. Hi. Hi, Sally. Don't you look lovely? Doesn't she look lovely, Walt? What? Yeah. Yeah, she looks, I mean, you look, you look lovely. We should, we should go. You know, I'm gonna go now too. We could just all three go down together. No. That sounds great, Mrs. Kincaid. This is not happening. Hola. Well, hello. <laughs> wow. I brought some champagne. My father likes beer. Oh, well, good. Champagne for us. These are for your dad. That really is a lovely dress. Thanks. My mom and I spent all week making it. <laughs> it's almost as long as Walt spent fixing his hair. No kidding. I couldn't imagine living next door to my parents. Oh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Really? Voila, my room. You like it? Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it suits you. There's a whole lot of people out there. That house right there, my brother lives there with his wife and his kids and my other brother, Raul, who, by the way, can't seem to find a woman who meets the standards. And then next door to them live my aunt and my uncle and their daughter, Claudia, and her family. Oh, and Ricardo, remember I... Fireworks guy. Exactly. Wow. Hey, I'm good. He, okay, he lives in the garage. 
Oh, and my brother George lives with his kids in my parents' house. No wife. So that makes... That makes four grandparents, ten children, and fourteen grandchildren. And you, pretty thing, you left all of those people just to spend some time up here with me. No. You've got work to do. Really? Voila. Why is my guitar in your bed? Murph put you up to this, didn't he? Oh, gosh, you're paranoid. I'm not paranoid. I just don't like being manipulated. I am not manipulating you. I am simply holding you hostage. Fantastic. Thanks, Manny. Everything looks perfect. I aim to please, ex Mrs. Jack. So where's that DJ you found? I need to go over a few ground rules. Ooh. Here he comes now. Carrie, babe! Just like old times. Awesome. <laughs> Mr. Dirk is a pro. He even brought his own music. Yes, well, I'm gonna need to see what you brought. Now. This is cool. Your mom did a great job. Brought us a little something. Style. Hey, bud, need help? Manny! Nah, I'm, I'm... Uh... Dude, please don't bust us. My mom will kill me. She doesn't like you drinking sparkling cider? S sparkling cider? I can't really blame her. It's a little sweet for me, too. Besides, the bubbles give me gas. I like sparkling cider. Let's get it on. Love in the elevator, Lucy in the sky with diamonds. It's the Beatles, Carrie. No song about drugs, Derek. None. OK, chill, Carrie. I get it. The whole PTA thing. All right, who wants to rock? Nice moves. You should be a waiter. I'd rather own the restaurant. Oh, not too bad. I was going to give you a tip. Here's a tip, Kincaid. Oh. Ass? One more time for all. Not going too good, huh? No, no, it's it's going good. I got I got some work. Yeah, that's midnight blue. Yeah, Herb sang at our wedding and Stephen hated it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> they grow up, don't they? Yeah, they do. They grow up. Yeah, my daughter. She gave us strict instructions. No one is to help you. And I told her, me, ha. The man cannot write beautiful music in an empty stomach. And she said, let him starve. It's gonna give him emotion. <laughs> so beautiful. Go ahead. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Go. <laughs> Mama! You better not oh, be upstairs. That comes my warden. Um, listen, why don't you uh, write a music for Jennifer? Yeah, you put a smile on her face. <laughs> Thank you. Soda? Thanks, ex Mrs. Jack. Oh, please don't call me that. I'm not ex Mrs. Jack or Mrs. Jack or anything having to do with Jack anymore. Okay, I will call you. Hmm. You could call me Carrie. Sure thing, ex Mrs. Jack. <laughs> Sorry, I may slip a few times. Miss Carrie. Thank you. I don't see Walt. I hope he's having fun. I am no spy, but I will say that he is having as much fun as any boy on his first date. What is that supposed to mean? It means I wish I brought my video equipment. It's embarrassing is what it is. 
I think your dad's cool. Not as cool as his kid, but he does okay. This moment of sweet romance has been brought to you by Walt and Cage Dad, Boys and Girls, and the Renegades Band. Thank you very much. Well, I'm on the second floor, sweetheart. There's a trellis, Dad. It's easy. Come on, I'm on the west of my Seattle Gordo. See? They're afraid it won't hold you. When did you learn how to speak Spanish? It's not hard. Come on. All right, well, I'll push it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Bye. Busted. I accept full responsibility. Well, I only see one person halfway out the window. Guilty as charged. Please let him out soon. Juan says there's gonna be fireworks. I know. Your father knows what he has to do to get out. Now, come on, kids. Out, out. You use the stairs. No. I know, I know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are grounded, okay? I don't hear any music. Cool. What are you playing? What are you playing? No drugs, no alcohol. It's from Titanic. A movie about a boat that sinks, and we're on a boat. Yeah. <laughs> Walt. You jump, I jump, right, Rose? You jump, I jump, Jack. I'm king of the world! Ah! Sally! Oh. Girl overboard! Girl overboard! Relax, bud. I got her. <laughs> hey, bud. Here you are. Is she dead? Nah, she's fine. This has to be the worst first date in history. What are you so happy about? I swam out past the buoy. Congratulations, I guess. That's the farthest off the island I've ever been. Somebody should call the Guinness Book of World Records, huh? You can laugh, but it's a big step for me. Your Emma fishing well. She reminds me of my Jennifer. Esteban, happy birthday. Gracias. And thank you for the flowers. You, you don't mind. No, no, no. Your house, your compound. My humble kingdom. Indeed. Except one does not wish to encounter the wrath of the island princess. Indeed. You understand? Un abrazo. You should write a song about my Jennifer. You make her smile. Oh, I just thought you should know that uh, when you turn the handle, I came milagro. The door unlocks. You're welcome, ex Mrs. Miss Carey. You're a lifesaver. Literally. Can I get a lift, buddy? Sure, Mr. Dirk. Night, boys. Good night. 
Good night, Carrie. Coast is clear. Literally. You okay, kiddo? You want to drive home? I think I'd rather walk. You're going to pass up a chance to drive? Oh, I figure it's the safest thing. Well, don't stay out too late. Had enough? She's got a hold on me tonight Invisible connection That I couldn't find with anybody else She's got a way All tangled up It's a sweet intoxication That I couldn't find with anybody else She's got a way She's Stop, got Mom, Mom, stop! Walt, wait up! You disappeared! I've been looking for you. Go ahead. I deserve it. Deserve what? Punch me. Just, come on, just take your best shot. <laughs> Ow. So, I'm sorry I ruined your night. It wasn't that bad. And look, the seawater washed the punch out of my dress. Oh, come on. You can't be that positive. Nobody's that positive. It's the only way to be. Uh, Mom, what's gonna walk me home? So, um, are we even? Nope. You wanna hit me again? Nope. Then what? A date is not properly ended until the boy kisses the girl in the Oh. Ow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then I couldn't find with anybody else. That I couldn't find with anybody else. That I couldn't find with anybody else. She's got a way. She's got a way. She's got a way. You're free to go. <laughs> well, that's not exactly the rave review I was hoping for. You're also free to stay.
leaving? Ricardo's got homemade fireworks. I wouldn't miss that for the world. Thank you. Ready yourself beforehand So I'm not gonna worry. 